The conversation around this legend kind of resurfaced last month after 40-year-old FBI documents were then made public. A lot of people say they don't believe in Bigfoot, but some people do. Something else is out there. Dark brown, terrible glowing eyes, big teeth, long hair, I suppose it was three or four inches long. Tim Peeler swears he had an encounter with one of the most legendary beasts in history, Bigfoot. A lot of people make fun of me, but I don't care. I know it's there. Seriously, look how big it is. I don't think it is a human. I think it's a Sasquatch. This was shot apparently near the Intracoastal Waterway earlier this month. Not just one, he says three different Bigfoot stared at him from the hill. Why are these claims happening? Something needs to exist. Are we ready to go die in the woods? He didn't even tell us where he's going, right? No, he didn't say he just anything. Said, Follow us. I've been researching for over 20 years. This is our first Holy ever shit. Bigfoot sighting. Wow. And he calls us the Goliath tracks. <laughs> like Andre the Giant. <laughs> Holy yeah. shit. He was wading in the river, and he was out in the middle, and something threw a rock into the river. I think that you're going to see one. Probably a better chance here than you have than anywhere, anywhere else. Behind the tree. See? Yeah, I do. Right there. Dude, that sounds wicked fucking close. Yeah, like, no more. What the fuck was that? I swear to God, I hear a fucking growl. Yeah. Yeah, something. Get behind me. I'll back out where we're safe. Are you okay? Yep, what is up, Explorers? Today we are in Lexington, Kentucky. And you know, in Beyond the Dark, when I first made Beyond the Dark, I wasn't all about the idea of just ghost hunting. I wanted to do mysterious murder cases. I wanted to do uh, mysterious vanishing cases or anything, anything just mysterious, weird, anything. I wanted to even do monster hunting. And that's exactly what we're doing today. Today, we're looking for Bigfoot. Wait a minute, now I know what you're saying, Bigfoot? Are you serious? Yes, I'm actually dead serious. Ever since I watched Nelk Boys and their Bigfoot prank video, mind you, it was so freaking funny. I loved it. I was like, what if Bigfoot's real? You know, there's Bigfoot researchers that dedicate their lives to this. And I'm just wondering, like, is Bigfoot actually real? So I started doing research. It turns out that there's Bigfoot cases all across America, but the top places to find Bigfoot is Ohio, Oklahoma, Kentucky, and Oregon. So, I was like, all right, let's go find someone that actually is a Bigfoot researcher that wants to take me serious and to find Bigfoot. So I began asking around, couldn't really find anyone, so then I talked to Nick Groff, who used to be a part of Ghost Adventures, and he brought me to his manager, who his manager actually knows people that does stuff with Travel Channel on actual Bigfoot cases. So then I got in touch with them, which is how I got to Kentucky in Lexington, in the middle of nowhere, to meet up with another guy who's gonna show me the secret areas of Lexington in a forest that no one knows about, that apparently there's actually good sightings of Bigfoot cases. And I don't know how serious this is, I don't know nothing, but I do know that this is a, a serious guy who does and believes in Bigfoot, and he also has, like, um, Bigfoot prints and things he's gonna show me. So this is a whole crazy thing, and we are doing it. So we had to gear up also in Walmart, because we couldn't just wear our Vans or our regular shoes for this amazing extravaganza. We had to go get trail boots at Walmart. These bad boys. Are you ready, dude? Well, dude, I mean, honestly, I don't know if we actually have any idea of what we are in store for. I mean, we're going out into the wilderness for like six hours to try to find Bigfoot. Like, think about that. Did, did you ever think you were going to find Bigfoot no in your life? No way, dude. No Me way. Either. I always thought I, he was fake anyway. Yeah. So. Yeah, and that's the thing. We'll get into that. When this guy comes, I'm going to ask him so many questions and what his beliefs on Bigfoot is. But I mean, he's dead serious on it. We're dead set on it. Is Bigfoot real? And, and, and I'm gonna just say it right now, I don't think Bigfoot's real. I think maybe back in like like 1940s, maybe there was a big Sasquatch and they just started to pull it up into all these different things or whatever. I don't, I don't freaking know. I don't care, I don't think Bigfoot's real. But this is fun and adventurous. And after, because I do believe in ghosts, I almost think anything's possible. So God, I could contradict myself real quick and say, yeah, maybe Bigfoot could be real. So the guy says he sees us and he says he's getting gas. Wait, he sees us? Yeah, and he's getting gas. I think he's probably, Maybe around there, right around there, over there. I don't know. Dude, he could be any one of those guys. He could be a killer for all we know, bro. Shit, dude. We're trying to find Bigfoot. This is a crazy video. Wait, yeah, it's gotta be this guy. It's gotta be this guy right here. Yo! You ready to go die in the woods? Yep. <laughs> you ready to go die in the woods? Yep. <laughs> nice to meet you, though, Josh. I'm Jeff. What's going on? I'm Seth. Jeff. Nice to meet you. 
I'm Gacer. Jeff. Nice to meet you. So should we just, I just follow you somewhere? Yeah, or? follow me. Uh, the roads get kind of dicey. Okay. When we turn off the big road down there and then... Uh, it gets chill. Yeah. All, be, right. all right. We'll be okay. <laughs> if right. I can drive that there, y'all be good. Yeah. Yo, chill, chill. All right. Yeah. <laughs> all right. We'll now good. Let's get it. Let's, let's do, do it. That. So, so far, it's nothing but green valleys and kind of like the woods. I mean, I'm not, I'm not expecting much, but it's like farmlands and stuff. So right now, uh, we're driving completely straight. It's already been about 40 minutes. We have no service. And seriously, we've actually passed a few abandoned houses that I probably would have liked to stop at, but we're looking for Bigfoot and that's our mission today. Uh, I don't know. I, I have no idea what to expect at all. When we actually stop and meet him, I'm gonna ask him a lot of questions, try to interview him and pick his brain on Bigfoot. And he says he's gonna show us some evidence that Bigfoot's real, some like footprints and things. So I don't know, we'll see. He's turning down some road now. Let's see where the he's going. I didn't know Kentucky was this nice. Seriously. <laughs> Where the hell are we going? This is seriously insane. We're in like a community, like a Christian community or something. There's been, we've seen prayers and signs on the walls coming here. I'm driving so it's hard to actually show it, but it's actually pretty nuts. I mean, unless we're going to some guy's house or something first. I, I He didn't even tell us where he's going, right? No, he didn't he say He just anything. said, follow us. Oh my gosh. All right, we made it to this spot. I mean, we're in the middle of nowhere. I'm gonna park on this side. This is it now. There's literally no turning back. None. All right. Oh my God. Here we go. The wife knows where we are. I sent her the GPS coordinates. Oh, okay. So if we're not back by like 1 a.m., she'll notify. Yeah, she'll notify. All right, guys. So we're now officially here. We're parked with Jeff. We're gonna be going through the woods. Then we're gonna come back, get the ghost gang, go through other parts of the woods. But before we do that, we're gonna talk about this Bigfoot stuff and also what Jeff's holding. So let's see what's up. So this track, and it's the toes are kind of messed up a little bit. Right. Because of the mud and everything that was on the ground at the time. Uh, this was taken at nighttime. Um, actually the first print I ever saw in the woods because I was very skeptical and I'm still on the fence okay. because I haven't actually seen the big guy, you know. Right, so you've never seen him, but you've never you, seen him, but, but vocalizations, things, footprints, for, stuff yep. like that. So um, stuff that makes you think, hmm, what's going on here? But this track, you can see the toes there. You can see There's it. the last three, and then the other two are right here, but it's kind of splayed out because of the mud on the ground. Yeah, because it's yeah, pressed down. But and this would have been a female or a juvenile because it's smaller. Can so I touch it? Yeah. Is that okay? Yeah, go ahead. How'd you see that? Well, when we were going through, the reason we found this, we heard something crash through the trees, like a stick right. or something thrown. So we were like, that's strange. So we walked in, and this track was there on the ground. Whoa. And then uh, me and another investigator followed it down to the creek, went yeah. off into the creek, and then that's when I destroyed my ankle. So after that, I pretty much had to hike out on my own oh on my a ankle. So it was, uh, not everything in the woods is uh, scary like Bigfoot scary. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, look at that thing. But uh, this is... This is... <laughs> can I touch it? Yeah. <laughs> Guys, this is our first ever Bigfoot sighting right here, like this little evidence. Part is, though, like, uh, this part is what it was on so its foot yeah. actually touched this part so you're touching the same ground right it's here bigfoot. Right? yeah it's bigfoot that's so i mean that's that's legit dirt and then things that were there so so jeff how long have you been like doing this stuff um i've been researching for over 20 years 20 years on, yeah, on so like bigfoot itself bigfoot cryptids okay, yep, creatures okay. Big you know moth, like big yeah that's yeah. all my channel is it's creatures and cryptids and things right you know ghost weird stuff yeah so you know, you gotta have a little bit of all of it. Oh, for sure. If because, you're in the Bigfoot field, yeah. You know, there's there's some Bigfoot people that believe that he's not so much flesh and blood, and he's like, oh, like you know, paranormal, aliens, right. mystical. You know, Native Americans see him as like a mystical creature. So right. true. Um, now these are the big boys. Wait, there's some. I didn't even. I didn't know there was one. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. That's small. Holy shit. Dude. Now this. Is a track that was taken in Trimble County, Kentucky. This was taken in Trimble County, Kentucky by Tom Shea, a friend of mine. Wow. And he calls this the Goliath tracks. Dude, that is massive. This is one of the biggest ones I've ever seen. So it's just, show dude, that's almost like a, it looks so like a dinosaur. So you can see the toes. You can see the toes it's there. It's bigger than my head. It is. It is. <laughs> and then you can see the mid-tarsal break. All the all the researchers talk about the mid-tarsal break, how their foot works differently. And then I'll show you the handprint from the same big fella. 
this is the glass handprint. Handprint? Yeah. No way. It's like I can I, see it there. I can literally see it. Yeah, same. But this was on the ground in that same area. Can I just like put my yeah. hand for reference? Yeah. You can kind of see how it's like Andre the Giant's hand. Holy yeah. Wait, wait, wait. Dude. That's and you have big hands. See? So. Man. So this guy's big. So, <laughs> so look, a lot of people are like, oh, Bigfoot, you know, the pop culture icon. He could literally rip your arms and legs off. Yeah, yeah you know, seriously, so look at that. If we found Bigfoot, would we make it out alive? Probably yeah. not. Who knows? I will tell you this, that Tom actually seen this creature. Wow. So he found this trackway. Um, he was off his side by side. He was out there casting. And he said, he looked up and he was standing there, staring at him. And his pistol and everything was over here by the side by side. He couldn't have anything. So he didn't move. He said he just like, okay, what do I do now? And he said he simply snorted like he was breathing in the air, turned around and walked off. Now Tom pulled his phone out to film it, his flip phone back in right. the day, and he had the camera face it himself. No, and he said he about died when he got home because he said, I've got like the Patterson Gimlin footage. It's like the new version. I've got it. It's right here. He said that when he put it in, it was filming him. So, Dude, that so, is so, so, so it, it like crushed him. Yeah. So, so the Pat Patterson Giblin footage. Mm -hmm. What is that? Something we can find on YouTube? Yeah, you can find it everywhere. So it's it's, it's really like the well most known. famous footage you will ever see. Like the Bigfoot walking through the woods. Yeah, and everybody's probably seen it. And then it kind of looks back at the camera and goes straight through again. It was wow. like 1967 when it was filmed. They've still not been able to debunk the Patterson Giblin footage. Right. Um, you know they've tried, and back in the 60s making a suit like that where you seen muscle movement and stuff it wasn't possible right so i mean who knows who that's, knows i mean you know that's why it's exciting, it's exciting dude yeah i mean you it's real you know what i mean we don't know Same with like editing too editing wasn't that no, no. I mean, it was, yeah you know? 1967 yeah but uh the one thing that you'll hear sometimes and this is all like not even true they'll say there was a deathbed confession by roger patterson that it was fake and that's not true they get it mixed in with the guy that did that fake the Loch Ness monster picture. Oh right, and, I've seen and that it's one. all like bled, yeah. and they're like, no, it's never been proven to be a hoax. Oh, that's interesting. It's yeah, strange. and you know what the thing is, they said they say they find Bigfoot in like Oregon, or Oklahoma. So it's like, is he everywhere hidden? Like we don't know. That's the thing. It's a mystery. I'll tell you this, and this is my kind of thoughts on it after yeah. doing tons of research. Is I think you have like different types across right. the country. I don't think they're all the same. And I don't think they're all like huge eight, nine, ten foot tall creatures. I think some of them are smaller mm. uh, based on whatever they're eating or whatever their habitat is. I always tell folks with Bigfoot, I'm like, don't think of it as the cartoony character that you see because it's very dangerous if you're out in the woods and something happens. You're literally there with one. And if there's one, there's probably many. Yeah. yeah. And that's, wow. That's one thing I've always wondered too. Like, how can there be just one? You know, like there's You're not right. just one human. There's not just one type of bird or insect or anything. There's always more than one. So it's it's interesting. Yeah. yeah. In this county alone, in Anderson County, and I'll say undisclosed location where we are, yep, but we're yep. within that county. Yep. Um, I've tracked it down to probably two family groups uh, that are in the area, because you've got to look at the sightings and the reports and where they're located, they're not all going to travel the entire county. Right. So one group here, one group over here, and then they kind of roam. So this area that we're in now is over a thousand acres of protected land. Nobody can come in here and hunt. Right. It's protected. It's it's well-maintained, preserved land, and it is wild. So it's a safe place. Yeah, it's a safe place. So, I mean, and I've actually tracked down according to the sightings, I think that they use like power line cuts where they cut out for power lines, the, uh, the utility companies. Yeah. I think they travel those to get out and then they travel them to get back in. And then once they're in, they're safe. Hmm. And that's where they've been seen. They've been seen close to those cuts, either crossing the road or going up hills close to them. And then they just get caught by humans. No matter what we think, we still can't verify if they're real or not. Yeah, same with ghosts, to the, yeah. technically to the end. You can't, you can't, can't track them because of science. Um, right. You know, they've gathered things and they've done DNA off hairs and stuff they found, but there's nothing for them to compare it to. Right. So if they do a DNA test on hair, it's going to come back as unknown or, or something like that because there's nothing, there's no, yeah. you know, medium there. There's yeah. nothing to track them but, to. Ah, that in itself is so interesting. That's why we are Because it's like, if it's unknown, then what is it? Exactly. Like, maybe it's just the species we have and discovered 
in Oregon, I know I, I read an article that they said the FBI actually did a strain DNA test yep. on 15 long hairs for Bigfoot. Even the FBI was curious. Yeah, this is no joke. On Bigfoot. You know, yeah. you can find it online. It's yeah. out there. So what about the Travel Channel? Because they did a show here, right? Monster Quest uh, as well? History Channel. History Channel. Uh, they did a show in um, this area called the Hillbilly Beast. Okay. And it was all about this area. And uh, you'll see different parts of it in there. But in the area where we are now, this is where they recorded some vocalizations. So they had a crew come in from Texas A&M. He was like a bioacoustics guy. They had like boom mics, everything. Wow. And we'll hike in and kind of look at the areas where they were. Um, but yeah, they recorded some vocals. I talked to the scientist, I tracked him down and he showed me exactly where they were. And he actually had a rock thrown at him. Wow. Yeah. So the, the creatures in this area are a little more aggressive and a little more territorial because all of the sightings that I've gathered from here have been like, you know, snarling teeth at people, Jesus. throwing rocks at people. Man. And I think it's just for simply, this is like their place. Yeah. So, you know, they know people are here, but they don't want them around. Right. right. And so this is kind of why I've, I'm working here right now. Mm. Nice. So, um, I think this is, if you're going to see one, probably a better chance here than you have than anywhere, anywhere else. else. Right. I think okay. they, I think they sleep here somewhere. Yeah. I just don't know where yet. Correct. Well, maybe so tonight we're gonna find maybe out. now, maybe right broad daylight. We could find them in the next 10 minutes. You never know. That's why we're out here. It's all this, guys. There's no trails. We're off done beaten path at this point going in. But this is cool so far. I actually like the weather. It's peaceful. It's nice. Until Bigfoot comes at us and we're like running for our lives. Hopefully shots will be fired though. So we're gonna check out a cornfield right now. I think like if I was Bigfoot, I would be snagging all the corn. Maybe Bigfoot doesn't eat corn. I don't know what he eats. He we'll eats find you. Out. He eats us. Holy shit, it's a Bigfoot Looks like turd. human, man. It's a big Bigfoot Like that's turd. literally really big. Ew, looks like a brownie. You, eat it. you wanna eat it? Yeah, for protein. Do it, I dare you. You How won't much? eat it. Nothing. Hundred dollars right now. $100? What? Hundred dollars. Hundred dollars. <laughs> Do you eat it? <laughs> You'll eat like what? Well, how much? Like what? Are you, how much are you gonna eat of it? Like a bite? I'll give you a hundred dollars. No, I can't. I can't. I can't. <laughs> right? That's a little too much for me. Oh uh, yeah, because I was about to shake on it. <laughs> I would definitely want to see that. Yeah, right. We all want to see that. Content right there. That's content. Right, if it was like a penny size. Like a I penny? Could see the thumbnail a now, penny? Like, yeah. like a penny though. A penny size a, of poop for us. Still a penny. <laughs> I'll shake on it. <laughs> Are we sure about this? No, you think it will? I think it would. Oh, I love the cornfield though. Something about cornfields. Cornfields, uh, open lands, the sun's coming down. This is so nice. Seriously, look at this. This is this is beautiful. I've actually found corn stalks, corn husk, I mean, on the other side of the river. And I don't understand how it got there. That's a good, yeah. So I found it very close to a place where I think I got some knuckle prints. And there was like all these shells from these freshwater clams and right. things where something had ate them. Could be anything. Yeah. But the corn husk was the weird part because they literally had to carry this across the river or whatever it was. And there's not many animals that size that could do that. Yeah, yeah. And there wasn't Very any teeth marks. There was no like, you know, where I hold it in my mouth, like a raccoon or something. So, hmm. I don't know, that was strange. Could be like him, like almost like how we eat apples and just walk with it and yeah. just chuck it. Yep. Could be the same thing, but so with the coin. Get this and take off. Yep. And then eat and then throw. Yep. So, so we're keeping an eye out on the ground as well as we walk, just in case for footprints or anything. Uh, it's a bit hard, you know, a lot of deer have crossed through here. Uh, also, it's fall now. Everything's all kind of just botched down, so it could be anything that can be walked through here at this point. It's a really beautiful area, man, honestly. Look at that. They travel up and down here. Right. To drink out of the river. And so, this is where I found one track was down there. Like, like just right there. Yeah, yeah right down Should we there. Go down and look, maybe. Yeah, we'll go down. Uh, okay. What it had done to me, I think it picked up speed when it was going down the hill, mm -hmm. and it used its foot to stop itself. Right. And because its toes were splayed out. Oh, there's stuff here right now, bro. Yeah. Oh, it's deer though. Dude, after this video, we're gonna become professional trackers, regardless. We can, we can head down to that. Yeah. So what we'll do is we'll go back up. Okay. Um, we'll climb back up the hill because I don't see anything. Right. I think all of this is deer. See the yeah, but I mean, this shows you how agile deer are. Yeah, I mean they travel that. Yeah, 
So, I mean, everybody's like, oh, you know, they're just deer and they stand in the fields. No, like, they travel this yep. to get food sources. I mean, this is a pretty rugged area. I can see, yeah. I can see there being a Bigfoot here, for sure. Definitely. In my opinion, yeah. If there's a, if there is a Bigfoot, I can see them right here. This is perfect a area for yeah, them. I mean, yeah, perfect area for Bigfoot. Food, woods, coverage, and they won't be bothered much. So when he was just kind of out there looking around, and he was wading in the river, and he was out in the middle, and something threw a rock into the river where oh, he was, shit. and this was like summertime, so there's stinging nettles everywhere. And I mean, nobody really comes up in there to fish on the other side because it's hard to get to. Mm -hmm. So he was like, I don't know what that was. And that happened like legit, right? Right here. in this area. Um, actually, I think we're right where it needs to be. Let me oh, check shit. on my GPS. Dun, dun, dun. Get on it, yep. Oh wow. So he was right out here. Nice. Yeah, no, this seems like a spot. It's about to get dark. We have about maybe 40 minutes of light before we're gonna have to switch. Actually, we're switching over to all red lights. Jeff believes that, and other people do as well, everyone, that they believe that red light is undetectable, but they can see IR light and other things. Is that correct though? Yeah, like a lot of times you'll see them sold on the market as predator lights. And they do that because uh, a lot of times like certain animals can't see that red spectrum. Mm. So, and plus it, it preserves your night vision. So right. your your natural night vision yeah. and ability to see it dark, it won't mess with it. So if we use a flashlight, our eyes are constantly going to be adjusted. Yep. We use red, it's nice, steady, and our eyes will stay good with everything. Right, perfect. All right, as you guys can see, it is getting very dark. It is 7.15. Yep. The sun sets here at 7.30, so about 20 more minutes or less we'll be going all in with red lights. He's getting some of the red lights set up now. And the idea of this is to go to where you think Bigfoot would be. We're thinking near the cornfield, near the river, which we just explored, and just kind of sit there. See if, if we get lucky and he crosses our path. That's the whole idea of this, because if not, we could be spending months, years, looking around, out for this guy that we don't know exists, but it's very fun to do, and it's always about the what ifs. You don't know what's gonna happen. Also guys, really quick, I just wanna say I have two new channels. If you have not seen them, you should check them out. The second one is called Just Joshing You. It's a vlog channel that has pretty much everything to do that's not abandoned, or travel or anything. It, it could be the randomest things ever. There is actually some travel in it though, but it's mostly like pranks, you know, random, th honestly, the other side of me, that's not what you're watching now. Then I have a third channel, which is actually based off everything we're doing right now. And that is called Exploring Beyond the Dark. It's like takes place within the universe. It's like a podcast that people will just listen to at night or before they go to bed or just if they're driving in their cars. Check out both channels, link in the description down below. And obviously check out the NAR Dreamland merch, which any of the merch is good. Rise above that shop. Yo, dude, I, I'm a miner. <laughs> I'm going mining. This is definitely like. Ah! Is it blind? Oh, yeah, it is really blind. It blinds bright. me. Ah! <laughs> Stop <laughs> looking is, at me. Wait, I could fix it. Wait. All right, this is it. We're back out. We're ready to go. Um, I'm on a very wide lens. I just want to make that clear. Hang on. I'm on a really wide lens. My lens just broke out of nowhere, and I used that lens for the entire. YouTube channel that you guys been watching my entire life. It just broke now uh, The autofocus motors and everything stopped and they're grinding its gears really loud So Casey saved me with a 14 millimeter lens and I'm using it until I get back home. This is crazy But it's okay. I can get that fixed Found footage. This is where we made a horrible mistake. Yeah, I'm just I just want to see what this was in here Yeah, what is that? It's worth is that a camera? No it literally looks like a red reflector on it. It looks like, yeah, I thought it's a reflector. Why would it be there? There's another one. Look. Yeah, what is that? Oh, yeah. Why is that there? Wait, let's go to them. Let's go over there and check them out. Dude, that's crazy. I thought it was going Yeah, yo, no, that's why I'm asked. I asked. I was like, what is this? Like, eyes? That's literally nailed into the tree. I don't know. Years. Why would it be there? We made it to the cornfield, guys. Well, you think there's children around the corn? There's children in the corn? Or in the corn. Well, I'll tell you what, if there is, They're gonna get the I'm getting the hell out of here. Yeah, I might actually fight them. Gonna, <laughs> this is so nuts. Wait, think about the average person if they were to walk through this and see a red beaming this is a corn. UFO sighting right here. Yeah, yeah there, there, some, some local is going to be like, I saw a UFO. Yeah. <laughs> 
I saw a UFO where he had red. <laughs> it was red lights in that corn over there. In the corn. So I was recently reading, and they said try a dog whistle when you're out looking for Bigfoot because it sets the coyotes and fox and things off. So we'll try this in just a second and see what happens. So we're about to try the dog whistle, see if we can set off the coyotes or anything. Because usually when the coyotes go off, you might hear something else after that. It starts to set off a lot of other things. I honestly think either they're up the hill behind us or they're across the river mm. because a lot of times a lot of the activity is across the river or up the hill you hear a lot of sightings and things and if you think about it and if they are ape type creatures they're gonna go up or they're gonna go somewhere where humans can't easily get to so we've been sitting out here for probably about 20 extra minutes now and so far nothing except maybe like a dog kind of bark we're waiting searching Wait, here so, it's here so you heard vocals and they're on your phone. Yep. So these are like audio captures? Yes. Yeah. Supposed and as, and I've put videos to them because I use them in presentations. Mm. But here's one. I'm not trying to point it out. Right there. Holy shit. You hear the coyotes and stuff around it? Yeah. That was here. That was right down over there. Anything. Now the other one I'm gonna play for you. But what you're gonna listen to here, it almost sounds like a caveman, you know, like a like oh, 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 oh like it's really weird. <laughs> I mean yeah, it's weird. Oh, yeah. You made me do that on camera, so see. <laughs> sounds like a caveman. Like if you really ooh, listen, ooh, it's like ooh, yeah, it's like ooh, 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 ooh. Like Sounds like that though. Yeah, there's nothing in the woods that should be doing that. Yeah. Unless it's just some really drunk hillbilly doing that oh, sure. on his porch or something. All right, guys. So right now we are heading to the river. Um, didn't really hear much out there in the cornfield, but anything could happen right now. This is where the coyotes like to run through okay. in the dark. So we just got to kind of keep that in our minds. All right. right. The dog whistle experiment. This is it, guys. We made it to the river. Yeah, you really can't even see that? the river. Is that a stump? What is that right there? You're talking about across the... Yep, across the river. Straight where my light is. Yeah, yeah, yeah I see it. I see it. What is it's that? over there. Is it on the side of the tree or is it behind it? It's me? on the side of the I tree. I swear to God, its eyes are lit up and I'm not just trying to be dramatic. Uh, maybe it's a stump. I don't know. It could be a stump. But it looks like it moves and... It could just be our eyes. <laughs> looks like go. wood now. Is that wood? Looks like it could be wood. <laughs> so this is what we do. I mean, it literally looked like that it could have been it looks, behind the tree. It looked legit, Dude, that's bro. That's straight up. It looked, looked legit. legit. That straight up looked like Bigfoot. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a little foot, bro. Like up top. <gasps> What'd you hear? Something moved down there. Yeah, Looked oh, I just started moving. My phone. It's probably like recording. a recording. That could have been like a bird, though. That's why you always record. I, I might have caught in it, but I think it, I kind Look of... The branch is moving down there. Yeah. Okay, it's we gotta be, make sure the branch. Okay, 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 so, okay. So we have that, and then this. All right, so we know that's branch. Yep. This just happened. That was like a really quick. <laughs> I just hit the record button at that moment, though. So it had been raining a lot, like yeah. downpour. And there's another research area that I work with. It's a really active place for years. Mm -hmm. And so went in with a friend of mine. We were just getting footage, just filming things. So we started to hear what sounded like somebody clapping their hands. And when we heard that, we went toward it. And as we went toward it, it started to slow down and stop. And then on the camera footage, which I don't put it out there because I still don't know if it was anything. Right. And I'm not one for the whole blob squad yep, stuff. Yep. I'm very careful with that. But I really think that whatever that was, was distracting us from something that was over here. And okay. was letting it get out of the way. Is that you clapping that one? No, that's it. Whatever that was. 
That's crazy. That's Because at first I was like woodpecker. Listen to the, the you can actually hear the cup of mm. its hands. But when we I heard, heard that, that. Thursday though. Yeah. But when you hear that, like even right here, listen to, the, you can. That was my stomach. That's time. <laughs> <laughs> okay. No. I'm, I'm on right now. Oh. Yo. They're on this side of the river. That's kind of scary. And that's actually, probably about 100 yards away. They're next one. They're next to us. That's fucking terrifying. That's behind us. Oh. Holy fuck. Dude, I don't think I've ever heard a coyote like that. It sounds like a dog, but it's Where worse. The They're about They're 100 yards away. Dude, right I'm scared. You. Oh. you think, what do you, what do you think they're doing? Calling more people? They communicate that way. Yo. That's oh, not shit. far. <laughs> Dude, what do you think? You think they're gonna get us? Bro? Should we be idiots and like blow it now? I don't think we should. Yo. What do you think? Just have this a gun ready, man. This ain't even a Bigfoot video anymore. No. <laughs> this is, we're gonna die by a real flesh and blood creature in the woods for you all. So you better like this video. Bro. They're oh. reacting to this. No, they really are reacting to this. Holy fuck. Dude, that sounds wicked fucking close. Now, the like, reason no we're lie. doing this, we're not doing this just for coyotes. There's theories that Bigfoot travels closely with coyotes. I don't know, is it an alarm system or what? But we're trying to see what else yeah. we get. So, yeah, the whole thing about blowing the whistle is a theory that they believe that the Bigfoot travels really close with coyotes. So, yeah, but now we're going towards the coyotes. I don't fucking know. Fuck and remember what I always like to do and what I tell you all to do in the videos. Stop ever so often when you're in the woods to make sure nothing's trailing you. What did I just say? That don't mean like <laughs> Bigfoot, but anything. Because I mean, you're looking at this all over the place. Any predatory animal that you have, it will be with you before you know it's with you. So always stop ever so often and just listen. What the fuck prey. are we doing? <laughs> We're Bigfoot coyote hunters now. We're gonna die in these woods. No, we're also, not. That, wait, no, we're not. <laughs> If they find this footage and they release it, they'll think it's the Blair Witch all over again and nobody will believe it. That's and they'll true. be like, that's all fake. That ain't real. That's true. This famous YouTube people died in the woods. That ain't real. Shh. Holy fuck, did you hear that? Yeah. Harry. There's something next to us. Yeah. There's something, but it's over there. Yeah. It's Over there. Somewhere. They know we're here. I think they're watching us, but I'm not sure. Dude. We should probably get out of here. What if that is the baby of that? Do you hear that? Yeah. You mean a little chirping? Yeah. Bro, I'll get the fuck out right now. I, I, on God, I'll dip out. It's right there. Fuck. It's closer. Keep your life That's a ground. Yep. How about we get back? Together. Yep. Y'all get behind me. That was a ground. I'm hearing more voices on the left though. I think we need to move back yeah. to the path. But you hear the voices? I'm hearing like voices over there. Weird shit in the woods sometimes. I'm hearing chanting. Bro. Keep back now. Come back behind me. Let's try to get out of the woods. Yeah. Okay. 
we're being trailed now. We can switch to uh, regular lights if we want, just to have visuals. Uh, yeah, if you all want to switch to regular, I'll just stay in red. Yeah. For switch. my eyesight, in case I have to shoot things. Stuff's so getting pretty intense. Yeah, it is. So we decided <laughs> it's getting to back intense out a little bit. Fuck. Because there's something very big growling at us. Yeah. It's following yeah. us. It is between us and the river, so I'm not sure where it came from. But at one we're point... We're some weird things behind us. Yes. Like and at, like at one point, I was hearing talking. voices and talking and like chanting or something. Now, I will tell you this. Sometimes I don't know. in Bigfoot sightings, they've heard what they call faux speech, and it's where they try to duplicate our voices, but they don't understand how to do it. The hell? So they call it faux speech, and they try to like duplicate what they hear, but they can't actually speak our language. If that's real, what if that's what you heard? Dude. Wait. That's coyote. Hang on. See, those coyotes are... Oh. They're across the river. Oh my god. We need to listen for other vocals. But the thing... Something said okay. Yeah, that's a pack. Shh. Like Are they like getting like killed? No, but there's something that's like set them off. Something's out there. And the thing is, but you know what's weird? Those coyotes that we're hearing now aren't the grouse we're hearing in They're front of us. They're across the river. This we would have another... heard splashing. There's so no we're way. hearing a new. We're hearing some other growl. Something else. And we're hearing voices and chanting at the same time. I don't think that was the coyotes, but no. something else is here. But the coyotes are getting set off now. Actually, they're getting closer now. Let's back out. Yeah, let's get out of here. Because something is actually back there. I got you. I'm watching here. Hang on. One, one Why, hang on. This is crazy. It's fun, but dude, this is like <laughs> your life's on the ride. <laughs> your life's on the fucking line. Uh, no joke. I hit my limit, yo. <laughs> That's it for me. Oh God. Oh shit, dude. Are you okay? Yeah. That's the one I heard. Yeah, That's the one that Josh has tripped over. Are you okay? <laughs> what the fuck? We're at the river. We're, we're back where we started. Like, legit, I'm not doing no, like, Blair Witch shit. Like, how did we get back here? I don't We were literally wait, facing this way. Wait, this is where we first started? Yeah, dude, we, we literally just oh, went in a circle. Fucking like, what the okay. fuck? And they're never gonna believe this because it's YouTube. <laughs> yeah. How the hell did we get back here? I don't know. How did that, we get that, to the room? That actually doesn't make any sense. That means all the coyotes are over there still. We're back where we started. We haven't heard them in a while. That makes no sense. It don't, though. No, it doesn't. That, okay, what... Okay, let's just talk about this. Because you're gonna see this on YouTube and be like, oh, they're trying to get views. We have no clue how we just got back to the river because we were walking straight to the gravel road. I've been in these woods a ton. And I don't want to do this. So. <laughs> Josh, is, Josh is I'm going to get I out of here. I hit my here. limit. I hit Josh my limit. To go. Yeah, so I'm we're got. not gonna go purposely back to the river. Yeah. We're gonna go around this way. And we're going back where we started now. All right, I'm following you. I know we're in tall, whatever this is. It's all right, it's kind of big Okay. Prepare yourselves. We're literally making our own trail. That's how serious this is. We're making our own trail. You know, out of all the times I thought I was gonna die, I didn't think it was gonna be from some random monster or coyote or whatever's out here in the forest in Kentucky. All right, guys, so we just came back. I'm not even joking, bro. I was scared. I was shaking. <laughs> Me too. Yeah, that was intense. <laughs> oh it God. really was. Now, the thing is, is we don't know. We were talking even off camera for a second. We don't know what that growl was. Like Legit. you have, you And know. we were talking about this, and the problem with that is, whatever growl was bigger, like it wasn't like a raccoon or like, you know, something yeah. like that because it was deep. It had a ground. deep, like, yeah. Brrr, like, yeah. So, I mean, could it have been a coyote? Usually, if there's coyotes, you're going to hear multiple running around because they're right. like dogs, basically. Yeah, right. But I we, don't know what that wow. was. The thing is, we did hear a lot of coyotes. Remember yep. that in they the were, first half. And they were across off, the yeah. river. And they were. Well, at the beginning, remember, they were like. Yeah, they were really down from us, right, probably right. like uh, 50 to 100 yards, but so we never close. heard them move forward. Mm -mm. And I mean, it's a lot of dry foliage. I know, yeah. We could have heard, we should have heard that. Yeah. I know. But then, That's dude, sure. and then, dude, you, what you said, like you only pulled your gun out one other time? One or? other time. So there's only been two times that I've pulled my weapon in the woods. The other times when I was hearing the claps 
and i was right. like but it was more of like i'm close to something i don't know what it is this mm -hmm. time if you all would not have been there and i would have been by myself i would have fired into the darkness wow. and that's very dangerous to do i don't recommend doing that but there was something there that was growling and it was something that could have really injured somebody yeah so i mean that's that was how many nuts. times have you been in these woods though um every week every week on my channel i'm here yeah so, i mean it's one of my regular research areas so i'm out right. here a lot by myself exactly and i do that because i want it to be you know right see what's going on see what's happening yeah you know and what's but, your channel called uh monster bait tv okay so if you want to find it monsterbaittv.com and all the links are there nice and patreon all that stuff yeah yeah like guys seriously like <laughs> this it's is intense i didn't think it was gonna be this intense like i was like yeah whatever we're gonna go in the woods yeah. like i want to find bigfoot whatever but dude at that point i didn't know what we were dealing with it's gonna be a bear for all i know it was anything dude it got to the point where we were just like in the trees and like he was looking one way i was looking this it was way, very was tactical way. like yeah. it got very tactical real quick i had like a weapon here i was like watching my back we were, we let's yeah. get out of here we went all white light because we, we didn't yeah. want to like miss I anything like i just can't get over it and and we did not expect this to happen. No, no, no. no I did not like sign this. up for it, but I like that. I mean, technically, for, the, is it, this is probably part of Bigfoot hunting, huh? Oh, yeah. When you're places like this, especially like wildlife areas, and there's all kinds of wildlife in your area, anything could happen. So I don't recommend people to go out and do this stuff just right. as a thrill-seeking type thing because yeah. it's dangerous but for real wildlife i mean you don't know what you're gonna run into yeah, yeah. i mean we heard cowdies well let's talk about how we ended up back at the river uh, but I, what that was that didn't make any sense i know this is you know we film strange yeah. content you know ghosts yeah. and things but i don't know how that happened because you were hearing some voices. Yeah, yes, the chanting and the yeah. voices for sure. And we sure. heard, you know, and I was telling Josh about yeah. sometimes creatures, Bigfoot, whatever you want to call them, will do something called faux speech where they try to mimic human voices. Right. And I don't know, but that was like some strange stuff. And then all of a sudden, we were back at the river like some real Blair Witch type stuff. It felt like Blair Witch stuff right there. It really did. It and I know terrifying. these woods like the back of my hand yeah and i knew that we were going straight back to the gravel road because we were at the river well when we went straight back like we should have hit those woods went across there's the gravel road there was the river again we didn't get turned around we didn't turn right we didn't turn left we went nope. straight back it made no sense guys if this video can get fifty thousand likes or half a million views we will all team up again and go to the actual real Blair Witch Forest together and investigate. Holy shit. If they want it, they can get it. Comment below, share this video. This was all legit real. We could have actually gotten hurt or killed. Actually. In this. And you guys already know them. Ch check out the links in the description down below. Um, dude, remember, before we end this video, he pulled out his gun. Like, this is legit. <laughs> Only the second time in the yeah. woods I've ever done that. Because I felt we were literally getting ready to be yeah. dinner for something. Yeah. Oh my god. All right, guys. Peace out. We're ending this here. We gotta go. This is too much for me. I'm out of here. <laughs>